Hey, how's it going guys? So in today's video, I want to be talking about my top three ways in order to become a videographer. Uh, before I just jump into this video, if you are a content creator, filmmaker, or an influencer on social media and you need music for your videos, then I highly recommend joining artlist.io. And the link is in the description. Once you join through that link, you get two months of free membership. So if you don't want to miss out on that, I highly recommend you join that website. So let's just jump into this video. So essentially, there are top three tips that I would have to give you. So the tip number one is identifying your goals or objective. Now, why do you want to learn videography? What's the reason? Is it because of your passion? Is it because you got influence? And you want to like dig deeper, like finding out whether you want to become a wedding filmmaker or you want to shoot fashion, or is it more like you want to create your own YouTube videos for your own personal brand? Find out exactly what it is. And if you don't know, that's totally fine. But you can always come back to this question because finding out your goals and objective and finding the reason why you do what you do can take you um, to a place of you know, certainty. And that's where you want to be. So I would highly recommend to find out exactly what it is that you want to do and um, yeah, and what's your why behind it. Now, the tip number two that I would suggest is setting aside at least three months or more. In fact, like you can keep it three months because that's 90 days in 90 days or in three months, um, you want to dedicate this time to learn the skill set. Now, videography, just like any skill set can be learnable. And trust me, it's not that complicated or hard. And in fact, you can just learn the stuff through uh, self-learn, watching YouTube tutorials and whatnot. And in fact, I even have created a short digital course on how to become a filmmaker. So if you're interested in that, make sure to book a call with me or send me a message and I'll be able to have a chat with you. So essentially, you want to be able to practice. So that's the main thing. So in terms of how do you get good at it in three months? Well, there are two things that you really need. One is your skill set and one is your um, gears. So which is more like a hands on experience. So the funny thing is that the skill set comes with using your gears, whether that's your camera equipment, your iPhone, especially if you don't have your own camera, I would highly recommend start using your iPhone or your phone to shoot videos. And you can keep it uh, horizontally rather than vertically because that gives you more dynamic range. And nowadays you can shoot 4K with your own iPhone. The next thing you can also do, you can also hire um, equipments if you have the budget for it or borrow your friend's camera. And um, or you might even have your entry DSLR or you might think of getting one. By all means, do that if, you, if the budget allows. But the main thing is that you want to learn all the basic settings, including ISO, shutter, um, frame rate, and all those things, and actually put them into practice rather than just knowing the theory side of things. So that's how you learn and grow. So the tip number three is shoot daily and often. So the more you practice, the more likely you're going to get better at it. So make sure you keep shooting. Shoot dogs, shoot nature, shoot sunset, sunrise and sunset. I used to do that all the time because those are the golden hours. And you can even take photos of your friends and family or shoot like slow motion video and see how that turns out. The more you practice, the more comfortable you get. So make sure you even set up like a daily goals of what you want to achieve. So you could say today I'm going to learn how to shoot nature or um, the next day, I'm going to learn how to do um, slow motion type of video, just like set a really goal for yourself um, so that it kind of motivates you. And, you know, and because if you don't have a plan or perhaps a schedule, you might slack or feel like you don't want to do it. Right. So make sure you do that. And as always, keep shooting, keep doing what you love to do. And I'll speak to you in another video.